Hi everyone, it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video I'm going to show you the makeover that my husband and I did on our laundry room that is combined with a half bathroom. But before we start, let me show you the before footage. like when we first moved into this house now we've been in this house for almost three years now but we've just slowly been making over the rest of our house so the laundry room was just not my style I didn't really like the paint color I really like a neutral white house with some touches of color and flair it was also just super outdated and not at all functional so a lot of my clothes and my husband's clothes we need to air dry them and there just wasn't a lot of room to do that in the laundry room so i would have clothes hanging on our kitchen table out in our living room like anywhere i could find a place to hang our clothes i would do that so a goal of this makeover was was to make it more functional and I feel like I came up with some really good hacks so I'm excited to show you that. You'll have to bear with me through this video because it's a really small space and it's hard for me to film in here but you may have noticed that we kept our old washer and dryer so I debated on getting stackable washer and dryers because I just felt like it would free up the space more but honestly these work just fine and a lot of people told me that they regretted upgrading their washer and dryer and that they felt like the old school models worked better so we just decided to save money we would just keep these but also I did create a design board using Canva so I made a layout um, just like this and then I also made a layout with the stackable and just looking at it, I actually liked this setup better. And then I also asked my friends and followers over on Instagram and majority of people voted to just keep it the way it was and to do this layout. So if you are doing any type of makeover in your house, I highly recommend going onto Canva and creating a design board because you might think that something is going to look really good. It might look amazing in your head, but then when you lay it out and really see what it would look like, you might change your mind. So the first thing that we did was take out literally everything and I painted it white and then we redid this flooring and I decided on this black penny tile with gray grout. So we just got the sheets of penny tile. It was really easy to lay. Now, on camera you can kind of see where each square was but in person i don't notice that so i feel like that's just something that shows up on camera but i really love this tile i think it's so fun in a small space like this so i really wanted to do this makeover as quickly and as cheaply as possible so we just went with this peel and stick tile wallpaper and i'll link the exact etsy shop in the description box because i can't remember the name right now but I love it. I think it looks really cute. And if I ever get sick of it, it's so easy to just pull it down. We could always put up real tile if we want to in the future or just switch out the wallpaper. The cabinets that were in here before were original with the house. And I think our house was built in either the late 70s or early 80s. So they were really outdated. And I just wanted to update them with a brand new modern looking cabinet. And since we were only doing one we didn't think it would be that expensive. I did not realize how expensive cabinets are. I think this one was like $300 and honestly, it is like not the best quality. It has some cracks in it, like it came a little bit broken. And yeah, it just seems like it was built a little bit cheaply. So I will go ahead and link it in the description if you just wanna see what we got, but I don't know that I would really recommend it. I do feel like it was the best quality one that we could find for the least expensive price. So I don't really have too much in here right now, just like some old cleaning towels, my dusting wipes, extra laundry soap, just things that are like not very attractive. And as you can see, like 
I can barely reach up here. I do have a step stool here and I'll talk about all of that too, but I don't really plan on keeping things in here that I need to reach for every day. I put uh, my most commonly used items here on the shelf and I really wanted to do that and put them in like prettier containers. So for this shelf, we just got a board from Lowe's and cut it to size and I think I stained it the color Early American. And then we just hung it using these cheap brackets from Lowe's. And okay, I know this whole section is like kind of ugly, but I had to hang this above these outlets here just so that like the power strip and all of that would work out. I wish I could have hung it a little bit lower, but I was just working with what I could do here. And then our box for our water hookup is really ugly. It's like an off white, yellow cream color. And I wish I could have replaced that, but I just did not feel like taking the time to figure out how to do that. So I just covered it up with that power strip, which I know almost draws like more attention to it, but I just needed that extra outlet space so that I could plug in like my vacuum and my steamer and things like that. So then on the shelf here, I just have the things I use every day for laundry. So wool dryer balls, essential oils that I put on those dryer balls. Sometimes I will drop those in directly with my laundry. It just depends. That stain stick is a DIY that I make using Thieves Laundry Soap, Thieves Household Cleaner, and Lemon Essential Oil. So you can find that recipe on my Instagram if you are interested. This little tray I got from Target. I love it. I think it's so cute and just like perfect for this setup here. This cute little sign is from Target. It says dirty on the other side, but I mean, I just use it for decor. So I always have it on the clean side. And then again, my Thieves Laundry Soap. And then I also use the Molly's Suds Laundry Soap. So I have their whitener and then also their active wear and those little scoops inside are from Target, but they're really old. I don't think they sell them anymore. And then just an extra little scrub brush there. Now in the corner, we did damage the wall when putting in this shelf. I just haven't had a chance to fix it yet. This area here I know is the least attractive, but it is like my favorite part of this makeover because it has just changed my life. And I know that that sounds really stupid, but before I just did not have a good place to store like our vacuum, our broom, or our mop. And also all of these little like vacuum attachments, I just like did not have a good place to store them. So we ended up just pushing the washer and dryer over and we had this extra space here where everything fits perfectly. And also, I don't know if I was just living under a rock, but I found these on Amazon and I think it is the smartest invention ever. So it just holds your brooms and I just love that they are just here, not like falling out of a closet when I open the door or anything like that. And then I also found these baskets. We'll see if I can get them off but they just clip onto the side of your washer and dryer or really anywhere. They're just, they're kind of like command hooks that they clip onto. And so in here I have the little pad that goes on the bottom of our mop. And then again, I just have those vacuum attachments in the other one. I love having this basket here so I can just throw dish towels or just random things that need to be washed in here. Now my husband complains that it's like right in front of the toilet, but I always just tell him, just lift it up and put it here. It's not a big deal. And then the stool is a little bit in the way too, but I feel like again, just to move it out of the way because I definitely need that there to be able to get in that cabinet when I need to and then also to hang my clothes up here. So let's talk about that next. So this rod was actually really cheap at Lowe's and then I just stained it the same color as our shelf here. And I know it's hung pretty high, but the reason we did that is because like I said, I'm constantly hanging a lot of my clothes to dry. So some of the things that I knew I was always going to want to hang in here are a bit longer. So I just got some of those items and like tested it out. So if you plan on doing something like this, I highly recommend to hang a couple of items or at least like hold it up to see where you should hang that rod because it would be so annoying to do this and then your clothes are like 
you know, hanging all over everything. This hanger I got from Amazon and it came like a natural wood color and I spray painted it black. This was actually in another area of our house before I moved it here, but this is perfect to hang bras or camis or things like that. And then this drying rack I got from Pottery Barn and it was a bit of a splurge, but I feel like it was a really good investment because like I said, having enough room to dry everything inside the laundry room was a big priority of mine. So what you do is you pull this down and then there are three hooks here so you can decide like what height you want this to hang at, but we'll just do this one. And this is great for leggings or jeans and you just hang them like that. And I know it's a little weird to have it right over the toilet, but that was the only place where it would fit. And we don't really use this bathroom that much anyway, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Oh, and I wanted to mention this window here. So since this window is so narrow, they don't make a lot of curtains or blinds like in this size, or at least not any that I liked the style of. So I decided to just put this peel and stick privacy frosting thing here. So I got that on Amazon and I also have this on our front window by our front door and you cannot see inside of it. So I love this, especially because it still lets in a lot of natural light in here. And the view out of this window is pretty ugly. <laughs> so. I don't mind not being able to see out. Okay, now moving on to the bathroom side of things. So I was really struggling with what to put here because I feel like in every bathroom there's usually like the two or three shelves here and I do have that in my other bathroom but I'm just kind of bored with that look. I feel like everyone does that. And then also you have to find all of the little decorative knick-knacky things to put on there. So I just went ahead and hung this photo here. I just think it's like really pretty. And this is from Society6. And again, this was something that was in another area of my house and I just moved it here. So that was great. I didn't have to buy anything extra. Our little wooden tissue box cover is from Target. I feel like that really ties in all of the wood elements here. And then this little toilet paper holder is from Target too. And usually I don't really like the look of these types of things. I prefer having one that like screws into the wall or the vanity, but I actually thought this one was like really nice looking. I don't think it looks really cheap even though it was. And then this is my all time favorite trash can from Target. I also have this in our other bathroom. And I was gonna say I have it in our room too, but I don't, but I would like to put this one in our room. And I just love it because it has this cover so you don't have to see all of the gross trash inside. The vanity I'm pretty sure we got from Lowe's and the faucet we got from Amazon. We actually still have to hook all of this up. I just kind of have it sitting in there for now. But this vanity actually has really good storage. So you can pull this down and put some things in there. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in here yet. And then down here, it has two shelves. And these are soft clothes too, which is always super nice. The mirror I found from Target, and I just love this little shelf here. And I also found the hand soap from Target and just a little plant. I have to put a plant in every room makeover. The light is from Amazon. These hooks are also from Target. I feel like almost everything in here is from Target, but I think that they still sell these hooks. They're from the um, hearth and hand section. And I just bought a ton of these in both black and gold whenever I saw them and I have them all over our house. And then this Turkish hand towel is from Amazon. 
So I think that is everything for this laundry room, bathroom makeover. I am so happy with how it turned out. I really thrive in a space that I think is aesthetically pleasing. So I've been getting so much laundry done, especially because I can fold and hang everything in here to dry. I've just been like setting my phone up here on this shelf to watch YouTube videos as I'm doing my laundry. And I just feel like I've spent so much time in this little laundry room. So I'll try Try to link everything that I can in the description box below but if you have any questions just feel free to comment and ask. I'll also have photos and more details on my blog at thehomeblondie.com but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful and be sure to subscribe. I post every Wednesday and every Sunday and I post home makeovers, cleaning videos, lifestyle type things so if you like that kind of content then please subscribe and I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye!